motivation monday so i will skip the fanfare and the applause and so on because we are in serious times we are in perilous times and i would like to dedicate this motivation monday to all medical personnel but especially the nurses why the nurses there's something in me that I have a special love for the nurses. Um, there's a lot of family members of mine that are nurses. I have a lot of friends that are nurses. I wanted to be a nurse, but the closest I did was be a health aide. So being there, I understand what it is to take care of sick people. And I know that right now a lot of nurses in particular are going through a lot. We know the doctors, all medical staff are dealing with a lot. I'm not minimizing that at all, but I just want to dedicate, you know, a special, say a special thanks to the nurses, okay? So they have a special place in my heart. Um, but as I said, I special love to all medical personnel. And anyone that's, that has to deal with this in any way, right? Um, whether it's firsthand or not, you know what I mean? directly or indirectly everyone who's affected by this my prayers are with you my heart goes out to you because even simple as the armed forces that have to deal with people who are breaking the rules and hanging out or whatnot people are hanging out in crowds when they're not supposed to you don't know if when you go to round up the troops and get these people out of the way if you're coming into contact with anyone who has it you understand so anyone even the people who work in the hospital that are not medical staff, but they have to serve meals or whatever, and they have to walk the, you know, the hallways and come into contact with people. So I know I'm frustrated and anxious in my home, just thinking about going outside. So I can only imagine, you understand, how, how they're coping with this and what this will do to your psyche. Because having to you know, see people dying and there's no cure, there's nothing you can do, you're just watching people coming in, you know, moaning, groaning, throwing up, whatever, what have you. I really don't want to get too, you know, much into it. I was trying to avoid this topic at all costs, but I can't because it's sitting there, it's in my soul, it's in my spirit. I'm concerned for everyone involved. Okay? I'm worried for the people who, you know, who is dying and how their family is dealing with it. You know, it's, this thing has a domino effect. 
But as I said, I'm trying to stay on topic. So I'm saying I really took this moment to give, to show appreciation to all medical personnel, but especially for the nurses because I have a special love for the nurses, okay? There are people working double, triple shifts. There are people, you know, there is very nerve-wracking. And then, you know, in some instances, people are walking off the job. There are people who think they shouldn't do it, but put yourself in their position as well. If I have a family and I am going to take care of sick people, yes, I signed up to be a nurse. But when I signed up to be a nurse, I didn't know it would have something like this that would be taking people at such a rapid, you know, such a rapid speed and there's no cure for it. I wasn't prepared for that. And especially in, in the case where, you know, someone like I was seeing this instant that a nurse quit and she had cancer. So I'm saying to you, I don't have cancer, but I understand her plight because I my immune system is, is weak. So, you know, in situations like that, you don't want to take any chances because that means you're susceptible to anything that comes around because... You, you don't have what it takes to fight off certain things. You're easy to catch things. And then when you get it, it will last even longer on you because your system is not set up to deal with it. Okay? So I could understand it from both sides. Yes, you don't want the nurses to be walking off because you need them. But they need them too and their family need them. If you have kids to take care of and you get sick and die, who's going to take care of your kids? So I understand it from all aspects. But I'm saying I feel the frustration of the nurses. You understand? I feel how that would affect you and the anxiety and so on. Because every day you leave, it's like Russian roulette. And every time you go in, you don't know if you're going to come out. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to take this uh, motivation and to dedicate, as I said, to all medical personnel, but especially to my nurses. Okay, my prayers, my thoughts are with you. I know you're doing the best you can. And the nurses are human people. Bear with them. And if there's one nurse, you know, there's one nurse in a particular area and there are 100, 200, how much ever people, she could only do so much. You know what I mean? So sometimes people are frustrated at the nurses, but you really have to be frustrated at the establishment that don't have enough people on staff. You know what I mean? So, as I say. Special thanks to all the nurses. My prayers are with you. Love you all. Do the best you can and stay safe. Oh dear. I'm not going to drag out this. I don't have much else I want to say because I really don't want to talk about this um, situation too much. I just want to try to let people who are involved in it to know that my thoughts and my prayers are with them. Stay prayed up. Take care of yourself the best way you can. Strengthen your immune system to go out there to deal with that. You know what I mean? And make sure you're taking all necessary precautions. And before I end, I would like to repeat. For everyone involved, armed forces and all medical personnel, even other people that work in a hospital that's not a nurse or a doctor or anything, but they work in the hospital. They have to change the sheets. They have to clean the rooms. They have to, you know, serve patients, whatever. They're coming in contact with people every time they walk a hallway. They're coming into contact with people and you don't know who have it and who don't. So everyone, I'm sure, is up in arms. So my thoughts are present with you as well. As I said, everyone. But I have a special love for the nurses. So I want to dedicate this Motivation Monday to my nurses. Okay? Love you all. See you in another video. Smooches. Oh, before I forget, don't forget to like, leave a comment if you share my sentiment or if you have other thoughts. Like, share, subscribe, comment. See you in another video. Have a blessed week. Love you all. Again, smooches. My sunshine.
Massage.